Hey guys, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. This is my tag to the My Luxury Brand Story tag. And I was tagged by the beautiful and amazing Rose Loves Lux. Thank you, Rose, for tagging me. I really appreciate it. I always like doing tag videos. Sometimes I think I run out of ideas of what to film for you guys. So definitely, if you have any ideas of things you want to see, ask me, put in the comments below. I'm finally home from being away for a couple months. So I'm able to film hopefully a couple videos a week. So if you have any video requests or any other tags, definitely tag me. I like doing tag videos if I didn't just already say that. <laughs> Let's get started. Question number one, what was your first wish list bag? Okay, so I went to school at FIT in New York and I was in love with the Speedy. I saw people carrying it all the time. I really didn't know that much about Louis Vuitton. Um, in fact, I remember going down to Canal Street and seeing the Speedy and I knew that they weren't real there, but I seriously had no idea of how much a Speedy cost or what Louis Vuitton cost. Um, I, at the time, was buying uh, in college, I was buying just random bags. Like I'd go into TJ Maxx and I'd buy like 12 bags. And I still wasn't really into the higher luxury or even any luxury for that matter. I think I might have maybe had a couple coach purses at that point. Um, and so I was just obsessed with this Speedy. I ended up, sh don't tell anybody because I'm kind of embarrassed about this one. I ended up buying one on Canal Street, just a Speedy. I it, There it was like the 30, you know, it's equivalent to the 30. And um, I knew it was fake, but I also wanted to get it. I think I got it for like 25 bucks. But I wanted to get it because like if I'm going to invest someday in a really expensive bag, I want to make sure that I like it. And I hadn't really carried that many like top handle bags. So without really understanding the luxury world and really um about the counterfeiting that goes on and that kind of stuff I just went ahead and bought it and I have to tell you I loved it I didn't carry it all that much because I was worried that people were going to notice that it was fake to be honest I look back at it um since it's long gone but I look back at it and it was a really really good fake in fact I had people asking me like how I got my patina so even and things like that it was really odd but at the time I didn't know anything about the brand I didn't really even know about counterfeiting that was at the beginning of my college days at a fashion school well, I ended up getting and using the fake, not on a regular basis, but I did really enjoy it. I realized that I love the bag and I promised myself later that year, I started learning more about luxury items and I also learned about the fake counterfeiting that happened. So at that point I kind of quit using it, but I did realize how much I love that bag. Needless to say, my very first paycheck that I made for my first real big girl job out of college I went and bought myself none other than the Speedy 30. Um, this is my first bag. It was bought in 2005 and it, I couldn't believe it. it was so funny when I was looking back recently, I realized that it was made in the U.S. and I had no idea. Um, the bag has held up pretty good considering this is all I carried for six years straight. Six years. I did not carry a single other bag. And when I decided to invest in this, um, I wanted to reward myself for literally landing my dream job at the time, but I also really knew, like I was buying a new coach bag, whether it was at the outlet or like just at the mall or wherever, or Macy's or whoever carried coach at the time, I was buying a new bag probably four times a year. And the price of those bags literally equaled one of these. At this time, this was $600. It's the size 30. When I bought it, they didn't have the Neverfull. They didn't have the bandolier style. So I bought this one and you guys, it's definitely beat up. In fact, I carried it the other day and forgot. Oh, I love this bag so much. It is cracking up here. The bottom also has some like wears and tears, but seriously, like this was on my wish list for probably two years and I finally got it and I still love this bag. It has so many memories as such great wear and tear. Love it. So question number two, what was your actual first purchase? I totally just answered that in the last question. My first purchase was, of course, the Speedy. Love this bag. So love it. It's so great. Question number three. What do you think is special about the brand? Is it the quality, the service, history, or anything else? To me, it doesn't have to do with quality, service, or even the history, even though all of those are great. 
I honestly love this brand because to me it's something special. It's the way that I feel when I carry one of these bags or when I um, buy a new bag and I just love it or even just like being able to come on YouTube and have an entire channel pretty much dedicated to one brand that I'm really only reviewing purses and a few small leather goods like that's huge. It shows the love that we crazy people who do this have for this brand or these luxury goods, whether it's Chanel or Louis Vuitton or Maze or whatever it is. Like what other things like are there channels like dedicated to Nike? I don't know. Anyways, I definitely think it's the feeling that I get whenever I do anything related to this brand. When I go into the store, when I carry a bag, when I purchase a bag, when somebody asks me about my bag, it's like I light up, I get so excited. And I don't care if people look at me and think, oh, she's got a thousand dollar bag. I don't care about that. I just care about the way I feel. And I truly, truly feel that these bags and this brand makes me happy, which is why it's definitely my favorite brand. Question number five, what is your favorite purchase from this brand? I definitely think one of my favorite purchases will always be my first. I feel like there's always going to be something special with your first regardless. Um, I do have a couple purchases that were just absolutely um, meaningful to me. But if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know most of my bags were all purchased because they mean something. They represent something in my life. One of my favorite purchases um, towards the beginning of my, woo, um, the beginning of my collection was my Totally in the Zur. Um, this was the bag that I bought after the Speedy. I had literally carried the Speedy for not even joking, straight for six years. And then it was about two years after that. I decided that I needed a uh, over the shoulder bag and I wanted something, I love blue. Blue is my apparently favorite color. And I love that this looks gray and blue. So I definitely wanted um, something in this print. And this I bought after I paid off all my debt. Another special bag to me <laughs> was my um, amazing, amazing Speedy in the Empreinte, in the Infinity color. This bag still smells amazing. It's over a year old now and I bought it. Um, it was such a funny story. I went in just to buy some small leather goods and it kind of at the time was my holy grail bag. And the fact that I thought I couldn't get this anymore, it was after they discontinued it. They were really hard to get. The color was hard to find. I saw it in said this in some of my other videos, but I saw it in the case and I just knew I had to have it. Never in a million years went in with the attention, intention of buying what I already bought plus this bag, but this bag was really special. But <laughs> because I never can give you guys one actual answer, my favorite purchase from this brand so far has to be the denim Alma. I love the story behind the Alma. I love this print. I love that it's unique. It's not something that everybody has. Most people honestly don't even recognize it. I think I've been asked if it was Fossil. I've been asked if it was, what other brand? Dooney and Burke, like random brands. I'm like, no, it's LV. Every once in a while, somebody will recognize it, but I don't care. I love this bag. It makes me happy. When I first got it, unboxing it, I'll link the unboxing video up here, but unboxing it, I think I might have even squealed. Like, it's so beautiful and it's great and it's just there's something about it I think that it just this one is just so different than the other bags that I have the um the space in it is great I just there's something different and I like it and I really really this I purchased this after I purchased the smaller BB size in the noir and I loved that too I still do love that but this bag is just something amazing <laughs> Okay guys, question number five. What is your latest purchase from this brand? Um, I'll link the unboxing video up here. My latest purchase was my Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram. Uh, as you guys know, I wasn't really sure if I wanted the reverse monogram. I honestly thought that this bag was kind of overhyped and I wasn't even sure I really wanted it. I got it, I love it, it's amazing. I have used this so much. In fact, I finally had to like put it away and start using my other bags because 
she's gotten a lot of use for the first mm, couple months that I've had her. So. Question number six, will I be loyal to this brand in five years? Absolutely. I think I will definitely be loyal. Hopefully I won't be buying as much as I have been lately. My collection is definitely at a place where I really like it. Will I turn around bags? Maybe. Um, they all are so sentimental to me. I like kind of get sad thinking about selling any of them. I guess that's why I won't sell them, but Needless to say, I definitely think I will stay loyal to this brand. Um, and I think five years from now, I'm really looking forward to seeing where my collection has gone, what's changed, if I still like the same things that I like now. Um, five years from now, who knows what will be going on in my life that certain bags might not fit into my lifestyle, but I'm excited to see where it leads. Question number seven what is a starter piece that you would recommend? I have answered this in other videos. I feel like it's always the same, even when you listen to other people's videos. I'm going to link um, my luxury tag video or whichever video I set it in up here. But just to answer the question, I definitely think a key clay is a great starter piece for a small leather good if you don't have that much money or if you're buying it for somebody younger. This is something very special to me. This is my treasures pouch which is a little bit different than what normal people use theirs for but it's very special it goes with me everywhere so this is definitely a great buy um and it was i think actually my first small leather good i also think that these um the pochette accessories or however you say it in french i think these are great also for first starter pieces you can carry it as a purse you can carry it short like under your arm you can carry it as a clutch you can carry it as a crossbody. i think that a little underrated now um I also think that for the price it's a great starter piece and after once you start venturing into bigger bags you can use this as a small leather good or a catch-all inside your bigger bags so I think that these are great starter pieces as far as purses I don't personally have a never full but I think that's a great starter piece as is a speedy or a speedy bandolier so last question what is your next purchase I think after re-falling in love with my monogram Speedy in a size 30, I think I might try to get a Speedy Bandolier size 30 in the monogram. I'd like to get a made in France, um, but I don't think it really matters. My first one was made in the U.S. and I never even noticed until probably a couple years ago. But I definitely think that the classics are on my list now. I love the pieces that I have and I love how unique they all are. But I do think that the classics, the speedy bandolier, um, I would love to do a petite noe and a keep all bandolier. Not sure on the size yet, but those are probably my three top. I Oh, oh I also have to do Neverfull. I'm waiting to see what the new Mon Mon is but um the classics I have to build up my classics right <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video Rose thanks for tagging me I had a great time doing it and hopefully you all enjoyed my answers I look forward to hearing any of your answers definitely tag yourself if you haven't done this video and you're interested in doing it and I also want to tag um Uniqlo today hopefully you guys all enjoyed this and I look forward to talking to you soon thanks I'm gonna have, I swear, more bloopers than I actually do footage. Me. Bentley, get up here. I guess I should know what I'm tagging. Tagged in. I was tagged by Rose Loves Lux. I wonder if she has trouble saying that sometimes. Rose, do you have trouble saying that ever? Uh, oh yeah, no. Hey, ah. they're recording. <sighs> Take 28. Bentley. She's literally licking my arm. Really? No licking. Can you just be calm? I should just tape this under here. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't have to keep referring to it. I'm going to do it. It's gonna stay. Oh, look at that. To like Walgreens and pick up like something. You wouldn't even buy bags at Walgreens. But I move on from that. Did I finally get that?